I walked around the room uh, the last 30 or 45 minutes ago, so many different people told me this was their third year participating. Mm -hmm. It just really made my heart flutter. I really appreciate you all being here. I guess I better go to my script before I get in trouble. <laughs> I was almost on a roll. <laughs> Those of you that know me know that you never give a retired army officer the microphone. It's like giving a pastor the microphone. Hey, distinguished guests, Congresswoman Castor, members, fellow members of the CEO Council, I got to give you a special shout out because there's so many of you in here today. Uh, principals, all those that are working behind the scenes to make this magic happen. Because uh, you all know this, none of this happens by itself. In fact, I just want to stop right now. If you're involved in planning this event, the rest of us just want to give you a round of applause where you, wherever you are. <laughs> also want to thank Chef Gatson. Where is he? All in the back. <laughs> Chef is responsible for the super delicious hors d'oeuvres that, that you're all sampling. But more importantly, Chef's a leader in our community. Chef has been partnered with Mango Elementary for, this is his third year. So thank you, Chef, for everything that you do. <laughs> About four years ago, this was really just the dream that a guy had. And that dream came to be after spending a full day at Mort Elementary and just wondering what would it be like? What could it be like? What would happen if CEOs of our community invested back in our school in a little special way just by coming to spend a full day to learn, to be a part of, to understand the challenges, to understand the frustrations, to understand the genuineness, genuineness of, of our teachers and our principals that are giving it all every day to educate our kids. Some don't even have kids, but they're educating our kids. I want to welcome you to the third annual CEO in Schools reception. Thank you all for giving up your time to participate. This is a big deal. It's a big deal because we get to give back in little bitty ways. My word for today is partnering and partnerships. This program creates unique opportunities to develop partnerships. It creates opportunities for people like Letitia Brown to get to know people like Brian Butler and Maureen Butler and have conversations that benefit the kids at her school, that benefit the teachers and the parents at her school. It all started with getting to know Letitia and Woodland and forming a partnership. Many of you have heard this before, but if you're not happy about being here, blame Woodland Johnson because he planted this seed <coughs> in me by allowing me to show up one morning at 6.30 and by 3.30 when I left and called myself going by my house to pick up something and waking up about 7.30 on the couch, sleeping from the full day I had, I gained a new appreciation for what our principals are doing every day. And I just got a little glimpse of it. I gained a new appreciation for what our teachers are doing every day. We couldn't do this without our partnership with Hillsborough Education Foundation. They've really taken the, the helm and they're taking this program to an, another level. And my team is supporting the Hillsborough Education Foundation and the Hillsborough Public Schools in making this event happen. Some of you don't have a partner with you right now. Don't be discouraged. I think there are 29 that were CEOs that we still got to find in the next couple of weeks. And we've done it every year, so we're going to do it again. Because some of you are going to post it on social media. And some of your friends are going to see it. And they're going to ask you questions about it. You're going to tell them. And you're going to tell them where to sign up. And I'm going to go back to the CEO council. And people like Lauren and Ed are going to help me. And we're going to get the rest of those 29, aren't we? <laughs> 
Thank you so much to the business leaders. Thank you so much to the principals. Thank you so much for all of you that are here. Thank you, Superintendent Davis, for believing in us, that we really do care, for understanding that we really do care, and that we really want to be a part of making a difference because the whole of our community benefits from programs like this. Thank you. I'll be followed by my CEO mentor, Kim Jowell. <laughs> I need to mentor Brian on a time schedule that he has. Where's Maureen? Can you control him, please? So, thank you, Brian. I truly appreciate the partnership that we have. We feel very privileged to be part of this impactful mission along with our Hillsborough County Public Schools. Um, I know, principals, you had a long meeting today, um, so that's why we had the alcohol. Um, <laughs> So um, I would like to, none of this is possible without the support of sponsors and supporters who are making this program now, as Brian said, in its third year, the huge success. So uh, I'd like to recognize our longtime friends and supporters, uh, uh, definite champions of education, and I know you know this name, Suncoast Credit Union, our visionary sponsor, and you'll hear from Gary Van uh, later today. Um, we are also added a new supporter this year, Wallbridge Construction. Are they in the house? I know they were on the list. There you go. Thank you. And you may have heard about this program on the radio, seen it on a billboard, or read through it uh, through our media, different sponsored channels. Um, so we appreciate each of our media partners. We also wouldn't be able to spread the word of this number uh, to the number of business partners, like Brian uh, mentioned, the CEO councils um, and, and chambers. So we would like to recognize our ambassadors and what they have contributed. Um, we are also for other uh, ambassadors um, who have stepped up to share information about this incredible opportunity. And we know there's a lot of you in the audience as well as those who have talked about um, your experience that have helped spread the word. I know today I had an email and got an immediate uh, response of somebody, so thank you, Elizabeth Foley. And thank you for everyone for your support of CEO schools, especially our principals. We know your day is busy, uh, but we are trying to make sure that people are aware of the great work that you're doing, the hard work that you're doing every day. So thank you for being here and uh, staying a little longer today. Well, no, I imagine we're going to get you out a little early compared to most days now that I think about it. So every day, HEP is focused on our mission to strengthen public education, and you all are helping us do just that by being part of this program. We see the inequities that our highest need schools face, and we see the difference it makes when all schools are supported by their community and business leaders like you. Our schools are shaping tomorrow's community members, our future workforce, and leaders. We all have a vested interest in the success of our schools and our students. So thank you for giving your time today and on November 5th to see, listen, and perhaps even do things that our public school educators, support staff, and administrators experience every day. I am confident you will gain a new perspective and an even deeper respect for the role our schools play in preparing students for academic and personal success. How many of you are first timers this year? I'm short, so raise those hands up high. Okay, so do not listen to, well, did Brian say he went home and took a nap? Because I guarantee you, you are going to be exhausted um, after your day at a school. So I'm going to tell you right now to bring caffeine, bring comfortable shoes. Um, it, it, I don't know how they do it all. So um, special thank you to our elementary school principals. Uh, you for being here and thank you for sharing your time making this possible um, it will you know it, our community needs to know the good work you're doing and so thank you for giving up that day to do that we want both the principal and the ceos to get the most out of this experience and that is why this kickoff event is all about um, other than some great food from chef caston but your paired partner um, if they're not here today, we have a team that will be in the back of the room that you can, Mike is back here um, waving, uh, that you can you know, talk to to make sure we've given you the information or any questions you have at the end. Um, we will, for sure, pair every single principal. So those 29 will be secured. I'm, there's no doubt about that. Um, 
All right, so let's give you a quick overview of what's to come. Outside of hearing from some of our program participants from last school year, we also have some examples of what your day on November 5th would look like. We also have some printed, because even though we emailed them to you last year, people said they didn't get them, so now we printed them this year. Um, I know, we get a lot of emails. Uh, we hope that you'll stick around after we wrap up. It should be about 30 minutes, maybe 33 now with Brian, um, to continue the conversation with your paired uh, mentor, uh, paired business partner, or principal. Uh, we have the room until 4.30, um, and same with the uh, food and alcohol, so please make sure uh, that you take the time that we've assigned today, or yeah, that we've been dedicated. All right, so right now, it is my pleasure to introduce Congresswoman Kathy Castor, who is an amazing advocate for education, and if you know her mother, she didn't have a choice in that, but she, she wanted to do it, um, and was here the first year with us as we launched our CEOs in schools. So please join me in uh, <laughs> introducing Congresswoman Castor. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, nothing is more important, nothing is more fundamental to the success and the economic well-being of our community than strong public schools. Uh, a healthy and educated workforce is simply the foundation of a prosperous community. So I am grateful to all of the principals and educators and business leaders who are coming together to help lift up our students and schools at a time when they really need it. And just to, to, just to demonstrate how important it is to, to build on these partnerships and how important your time and talents are to our students, remember, Florida, the third largest state in the country, ranks 46th in per pupil funding. How can that be? Uh, we have a lot of ground to make up since that is the case. So you all bringing your understanding, your know-how, your professionalism into our schools is, is needed in so many ways. We are investing in our children and schools. Remember, we, we, in Congress, we sent billions of dollars through the CARES Act and the American Rescue Plan down to our local schools to help them make up for learning losses, provide computer equipment, keep schools safe, keep educators employed, make sure everyone is healthy and well. We need the business community to help us at the state level to remind them how important it is to get those emergency funds down into the classroom. It's also, we're also investing in our kids. Remember, uh, a part of that American Rescue Plan was the new tax credit for most families with children. We anticipate that that new child tax credit, those new $250 per month uh, credits per child, most children in this county, will help lift thousands and thousands of children out of poverty. I've already heard from numerous uh, parents who said it helped them buy shoes for their kids to start the school year. It's helping parents afford daycare so they can go back to work. So those funds are also circulating in our community. And now we would like to do more. Hopefully we can, the Congress can get its act together and pass the Build Back Better package that will provide universal pre-K, kind of, deliver on the promise that was made to Floridians years ago that we would have a full day, full school year, pre-K for all three-year-olds and four-year-olds. That way, students will be ready. They'll know how to read. They'll have the building blocks for math and science as they enter into their kindergarten years. These are important investments, but there's nothing like having the partnerships with the CEOs and business leaders like you that hands-on approach, the, the shot in the arm that provides these wonderful principals who are working hard every day for our kids. Uh, to Brian and Maureen Lee Butler and Vis the Vistra family, thank you. To all of the principals, the Hillsborough County Public Schools family, uh, Superintendent Davis, 
uh, school board member Lynn Gray, all the school board members, all of you who support them, thank you. To Kim Jow and the Hill Hillsborough Education Foundation, I like your sense of humor, Kim. Uh, thank you for for moving this along. Let's get, let's make up uh, the 20 CEOs that were short so that we can all work together to lift our kids so they have a, every opportunity to be successful in life. Thank you, CEOs and schools. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Congressman Castor. We appreciate you fighting the good fight. Um, you don't have to tell this room the ranking of that funding, I'm sure. All right. Since we launched CEOs in Schools, or should I say Vistra, who's allowed us to partner in, we've heard from principals and business leaders just how much each side benefits um, from this initiative. So I'd like to share a quick video with you from Summerfield Crossings Elementary with Principal Brian Harvey and his paired partner, Dustin Portello from Casper's Company. I know that's another name you all are very familiar with. So let's take a look and hear from their experiences last year on One Day of Change and Beyond. One of the pillars of our giving hand in the community is education. Good morning, everybody. It just made sense to want to um, give back a little bit more and to be placed into the CEOs and Schools program. And this is my second year doing it. Hey, good morning, how are you? Kids walk up to you and, um, hi, Mr. Harvey, hi, Mr. Dustin. It's, it's just a great experience and it really warms my heart knowing that I'm having an impact. My experience with CEO and Schools has been so amazing. Dustin has been on campus, has supported our schools numerous times. All right, 42, let's go. Okay. Dustin has become a role model for many of our students. He puts a smile on everybody's face, so everybody here, when he's here, everybody here is very happy. I know that he's, I'm pretty sure, the CEO or a CEO. I'm not really in the business that much of McDonald's. One of my favorite things is like the mouth with the microphone. I'd like to say that I am very proud uh, to be a partner with all of you here at CEOs and Schools. Probably when uh, I like first get a job, I think I might work at McDonald's. You don't know what impact you're gonna have in, you know, in Mason's life. He could be the next president of the United States. You never know what that positive word or your interaction or your conversations with them, it opens up doors. Coming in and letting the teachers and students know that the outside world cares about them, their happiness, and investing interest into them is absolutely huge and vital. Dustin's found different ways to surprise me and surprise our school with, uh, one day he'll walk in with a television and say, listen, I noticed one of your teachers or one of your classrooms was deficient. Here's something I can do to help. Whether it's creating an attendance plan, how uh, Dustin and his company can help support us increase attendance with our students. He's also had an opportunity to, to see what our teachers do in the classroom. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna see if you wanted to go to Kelly Services and be one of our substitutes because he did such a good job in kindergarten. A cheat is on me. The great part about the relationship is that it's not a one day event. Where he can reach out to me, I can reach out to him, and it just isn't that one day of change, but it's uh, throughout the entire school year. It's not the first day, it's every day after that, and that's what makes the uh, CEO in, in schools uh, program so special. So they have a pretty amazing connection, I know you agree, and we can see that the students clearly love Mr. Dustin as well, but I guess you bring props, that helps. I'll remember that this year, thank you. So Principal Harvey and Dustin are in the audience. If everyone will, you wanna guys give a wave to us over here? While we really want you to enjoy your one day of change, the ultimate goal is that our business leaders will come away from the experience both as an education advocate and inspired to develop an even deeper relationship like they've been able to do at Summerfield. So we appreciate you sharing your story. Um, I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge, um, I know Board Chair Ms. Gray is coming up to speak in a bit, but um, also Mr. Washington is in the house. Is there any other school board members that have arrived that I missed? Okay. Addison's going to do it too, but I stole his thunder, so. All right. Up next, CEO in schools, visionary sponsor, Suncoast Credit Union, Chief Administrative Officer, Gary Venn, who is also a proud program participant and has been paired with Pride Elementary since the start of this initiative, is coming up to talk with you. Gary? 
Thank you very much, Kim. Great job, Dustin and Principal. Wonderful. Um, it's so wonderful to see everybody out there, all the educators, all the CEOs. Isn't it nice to get together every once in a while? I mean, everybody just, everybody just gets to see without the masks and all. But uh, it's, it's wonderful to see you all today. I still remember the day that Brian Butler, who he and I served on the Tampa Chamber of, Com of Commerce board together, uh, called me up and, and said, you know, I'd like to have some support of an idea that we're thinking about. And he started to talk about the CEOs in school, and you could feel the passion that, that, that Brian had for this. And, and growing up, and in, in, in not here, but my children went to school here, I said, you know, this is a great thing. Suncoast is all in. And so I told him that we're going to do whatever we can to make sure this, this takes off three years ago. Um, Suncoast was founded uh, as the Hillsborough Teachers County Credit Union back in 1934. And uh, we've been supporting teachers and administrators and support staff uh, since that time. Uh, we do it because it's in our DNA. We actually support all of those types of things. So uh, it's, it's for us, it's not about supporting programs with dollars in our communities, but we do a lot of that with, uh, with groups such as HEF and, and Hillsborough County School District and HCC and city and county programs and all the nonprofits that help us promote uh, the best lives possible for our children. And our foundation this past year gave out $3.6 million along with the $155,000 we gave to support pandemic relief in the Tampa area. And that went to uh, health care and mental wellness and food banks. Thank you. Our leadership team is, is active throughout their volunteerism and involvement in the local and national boards. And it's this investment in time that has been the most meaningful. We are in the relationship business. And we build relationships one program and one person at a time. And I'm thrilled to be part of Pride Elementary, third year in a row, first time out. And I'd like to just uh, say hello to my principal, Paulette English. So thank you for being here. And I look forward to helping with the drop-off and the pickup lines and all the visiting the classrooms and, and the, the wonderful food you, you, you actually got to us and cleaning up the cafeteria and, and being in the student evaluation rooms and all the things that go into make everyone tired by noon and we have to still go through the rest of the day. But she did it with a smile and all of the teachers were there and you could really sense a sense of ownership with that. And that's something that is, that's so prideful no pun intended, but I'm using it, that, that we can use throughout through all of the CEOs and schools. It will be a fun-filled day for everybody. So thank you for your willingness to participate in the CEOs and schools. You are making a difference in our communities. It's my pleasure now to introduce Hillsborough County School Board Chair, Lynn Gray. Well, there's a lot of things, and I have one minute to do so, which is impossible, uh, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, thank you so much for the pleasure uh, in organizing this, Kim Jowell Hef. Thank you so much, Brian Butler, for the inspiration and for having these CEOs, CEOs right before me and the elementary school principals. Thank you, Suncoast, for being such a generous uh, partner uh, year after year. Um, I've taught in the public schools for uh, almost 25 years, so I know they've been a steadfast provider for so many of our students' needs. I'm surrounded by leaders and leadership uh, in this room. I met some of the CEOs. Um, and I'm also surrounded by the loving, the nurturing elementary school principals who everyone absolutely adores, admires, and knows that they are critical to the well-being and the intellectual success and social-emotional success of our children. CEOs, I am, I am just beholden to see every one of you who are willing to share your, not only your, your skill set, but your soft skill set, and, and giving our children dreams. You're giving each of our children something that they can aspire to be. And I think if we all research and, and reflect on our own lives, haven't we always had just one or two folks in our life that made a big difference as to what we will be and what we can become? 
So CEOs, I'm, I'm just uh, excited for the, the presence of each of you. And I, I cannot say anything more because I know the Superintendent Davis, who will speak, will say a lot more. But, uh, but I, <laughs> I just want to say thank you over and over. And I will be seeing you in the schools. Uh, and I, I know that you're going to have a very remarkable and rewarding time in our public schools. So thank you again. Have a great time tonight. And here's our fearless leader, Superintendent Davis. Thank you so very much, Ms. Gray. Uh, once again, let's give a round of applause for the school board who continues to do great work. Ms. Gray's here. We got Mr. Washington here and other civic leaders as well. And also, Congresswoman Mrs. Kasher continues to be an advocate for education, an advocate for Hillsborough, and we need more champions of change. So thank you so very much for your willingness to continue to dedicate your time, efforts, and your energy to children along the way. But you know what, you know, Mr. Butler, where's Mr. Butler at? You know, when you talk about conceptualizing this form of work, to be able to take business leaders, sophisticated leaders, and put them in front of uh, our side-by-side, -side, our principals, you get a chance to see the day-in and day-out interactions that principals do every single day. What they do is create magical moments. And in that time, it's not, as Brian talked about, it's just not the day, and Dustin talked about, it's about the ongoing interaction and relationships that are built. And for the CEOs, you'll be able to see the overarching dynamics and the unique perspectives of each individual school of what our principals go through every day. And along the time, you'll be able to see this year, not only do we get a chance to, to see what, you know, how their day starts, not, you know, like the Chick-fil-A line in the morning trying to get stu you know, students in and parents in, but overarchingly, how do they interact with every different student who have different readiness levels, every different family that has unique perspective. And you're going to learn. You're going to start with a schedule. It is never going to be followed. I'm just going to tell you that right now. If a principal, raise your hand. If, you're, if your schedule is always followed, raise your hand. You should see none. Because every day it is the greatest disruptor you know, that you could imagine. Whether it's the fire alarm, whether it's a, you know, one of our great parents that needs time every single day, it's, uh, whether you're driving a PLC, it all comes together. And you'll see, principals do remarkable work. They are so involved in every facet of education, from planning to uh, student discipline, to positive behavior supports, to engage in the community, to focusing on instructional practices, to having a supportive culture, to making certain we have the, uh, the greatest uh, initiatives we can for our children to create robust pathways. It's all there. So CEOs, thank you for your willingness and in in your career, taking the, the time out of your schedule to be in the educational setting and principals. Get to know your CEO. Get to know the individual that will help you there in that day, that will create a long-lasting relationship. And don't be shy to be able to identify not only areas of strengths, but areas of opportunity. They can help you fill the gaps systemically. But again, thank you so very much, Mr. Butler. We appreciate you once again for this initiative. Thank you to Kim, who continued to do great things for HEF. They continue to be a partner together to make this a reality. And thank you to our principals. I appreciate you every single day. And when, when what, one principal walked up to me and said, you know what, maybe we end every principal meeting like this at a different venue. You know what? <laughs> Listen, as long as Hef is willing to do it, Addison Davis says yes. So thank you so very much. And uh, I'm going to bring Kim back up. Give her a round of applause again. We appreciate your efforts. No, uh, no, he's uh, no. He, I said that was pretty fast for him. Is exactly what I said. Um, but uh, and it's not the venue. I'm pretty sure it's the alcohol. But that's okay. Well, you all deserve it. All right. So we're behind, so I'm going to be really quick and do some modifications on the fly, so hopefully I do it. Uh, I do want to stop and say thank you to uh, Board Chair Ms. Gray for abiding by the time. I do appreciate that, Ms. Board Chair. Um, and I know you have a lot to share So and the appreciation, so thank you. 
I'm not saying that to you, Addison, no. Uh, all right, so here's sample agenda. So we had them printed out, um, and what we, um, the, the purpose of this is to give you an idea, and that's it. It's to start a conversation. Um, just like with our students, uh, we believe the best learning happens in the classroom, but we did provide virtual options um, as a possibility. Hopefully next year that will not be on this thing, uh, but it is. So this is meant to give you some ideas. This day is about the two of you working together to make the most of that day. On the back of that is activities, again, just suggestions, but to get you started and thinking. And then most of all, we have three different uh, groupings of questions or things to start discussions between uh, the principals and the principals to the CEOs, and most importantly, those students who are going to love having a visitor at their school. If you are, don't feel like you're a rock star, you will when you leave a school and those kids, of course, if you bring lips, like evidently it'll be even better. So uh, that's great. All right. so. Um, our next two speakers, um, and, and then Brian is coming back up to wrap us up quickly so we can get back to the food, um, but our next two speakers have also taken the one day of change and continue to build their relationship throughout the school year. Uh, no, all three school years now. Oh, all right. It is with pleasure that I introduce Lauren Weiner, the CEO of WWC Global, followed by Hammond Elementary School Principal Sherry Norcas. Did I say that right? Norcas? Norcas? Which one was right? Norcas. Norcas. OK. There you go. Sherry. Hi. I'm going to try to um, move this along as well, considering that we are, uh, that Brian talked way too long. Um, uh, so I'm Lauren Weiner. I'm the CEO of WWC Global. We are one of the largest, if not, I think now the largest uh, woman-owned uh, government contracting firm in Tampa and possibly in Florida at this point. And I thought I had a stressful job. I thought I fielded all sorts of stuff that come at me, that comes at me day to day to day until I got to see Hammond Elementary, uh, where my son is actually a student and my daughter was, and seeing what uh, Principal Norcus went through on a daily basis astounded me. I definitely needed a nap. Um, I will tell you that when we first started this, now three years ago, it was awkward. Um, we didn't know what to do. There wasn't that great list of, of what we could do, uh, which I think is going to make things a lot easier for us and for everyone. But it was a little awkward. And what we've learned over the years is, first of all, just to start slow and actually let it be a little awkward um, and start talking, start looking at the issues firsthand. Get your hands dirty. We literally, I served lunch one day, um, talked to the principal, talked to the staff. The PTA president was probably one of the most effective uh, discussions that I had. And one of the things that came out of that was they needed an outdoor classroom. And not only did they need funding for the outdoor classroom, and particularly around COVID, but they needed expertise. And I've got the connections in the in the community that allowed me to say, okay, you need a landscape architect? Sure. Let me grab you one and let's get them to plug in and, and help with that. So one of the things I think we realized is as community leaders, I'm able to cut through bureaucracy that a principal can't. And I work in the military. There is a ton of bureaucracy that we're able to figure out how to work around because the government bureaucracy has very specific set ways of doing things. I don't have to do that. So if Sherry turns to me and says, I'm having trouble, now we're working on this car line. And right, um, and the, the situation around some of the uh, county commission issues, well, I can pick up the phone and call the county commissioner, because I'm friends with most of them. And so I can pick up where she can't and say, hey, we've got an issue. What do we do here? So those are the kind of things that I think we can continue to do. Be open, be clear about what the problems are, and then just be really creative about what solutions you can, you can do. Um, the other thing is, I'm looking around the room, I know I strong-armed probably five or six of you to, to get here. Go strong arm your friends to get here too. This is an incredible program. So please make sure you're getting more and more people. We need to fill every one of these schools. So please make sure you do that. 
So thank you, Lauren. <laughs> so as Lauren said, um, not only is she my CEO, she is a wonderful parent and member of our PTA. And um, we've done different things over the years. We started out um, with her serving pizza and um, checking out books to our students. Um, she was able to get us some members of the Marine Corps to do some um, drills with our students and things like that. Um, and it really has um, evolved over the past couple of years. And last year with COVID, we spent a lot of time talking. And so my advice is to have some really good dialogue because I was able to invite my PTA president in and you know, why not combine forces? A lot of what my PTA board is trying to accomplish is what I need. So um, I was able to connect them. And the other big challenge is time. I mean, we're crazy as principals. And Lauren has a crazy job as well. So a lot of times, there there isn't that time to connect. Um, but we were I was able to put her in touch with my PTA president. We had some great conversation. We had an interruption of the day with something very unexpected. So you probably got way more than you bargained for last year. <laughs> But um, the point is, is that that dialogue is very powerful and, you know, that open communication so that I can share with her exactly what I need and let's see what she comes up with. So I'm very appreci appreciative of Lauren and um, her son is in fifth grade, but I plan to keep her. So if this spreads into middle school, I don't know, but I, I would prefer to just keep you. So anyway, thank you very much. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Sherry. I was supposed to say also, if you get contacted by the media, please contact the members of the HEF team so we can do it in an orderly manner and uh, spread the wealth and make sure that the story we want is being told. And this one is something about social media. So make sure that you let everybody know uh, what you're doing and where you are today. November 5th is a magic day. So that means we just have a couple weeks for those other 28 slots, but I got a lot of help. We have a lot of help doing that, and we know we're gonna get there, so I'm not concerned. Am I done? Okay, now I can tell, what I, now, now I can tell you what I really want to tell you. So I'm over here, and I'm talking with a, a CEO who's with the uh, principal, I think it's uh, Principal Kastner, and they've been partnered for three years, and he just shared with me that and I know they've been working on this project to do some things in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the Media Resource Center library, it was called in my age, when me and the superintendent were in school. Uh, they're raising $12,000. He's going to his friends and business partners, and he's calling upon them to help pour into this school to help raise $12,000. Thank you, Ed for what you're doing, my friend. Superintendent Davis, I know that we're making a difference. Thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. Uh, Kim, did I forget anything? Get more CEOs, All right, you heard it from Kim. Let's get, let's get a few more CEOs. Thanks for being here. This has been a little quality time with your principal partners right now. Truly get to know them. Partnerships. Partnerships make a difference. If you treat it as just a one-time, one-day event, that's what it'll be. If you get to know them, you have no idea what can happen. Like a little bird just told me that there's a lady in the room that went to Shaw Elementary School and her, she's partnered with Shaw Elementary. Who knows the kind of resources she's gonna help bring into Shaw Elementary? Who knows? Did I put you on the spot, Rebecca? <laughs> All right. But so many amazing things like that. Thanks everybody for being here. There's Many more hors d'oeuvres, help yourself and, uh, and have a wonderful and safe drive home.